All right, we're playing Seven Days to Die. How about that? Okay, um, first things first, uh, let's get organized here. And not going to do the quest. I always like to put the water over here. Food right here. And then the rest of this stuff we don't really care about. I do keep the torch. Kind of have to have that. And then put that up here. Okay, here we go. Now let's see here. Okay, I think we're good. All right, let's go. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is actually collect... Just collect a few blueberries. We'll get to the to the trading post eventually. I gotta do these quests, right? Craft a bedroll. Okay. So we need some... Some weeds. I just call them weeds. Let's see where we're at. Oh, 18. Okay, plant fibers. I think we can craft this thing now. Yeah, I always gotta do these quests in the beginning. And it then it leads you to the... Uh, to the inn. Or the end, the trading post. All right, we can put that down in a minute. And so this is um, basically the default settings. This is a random world, by the way. It's not the default world that you get. I'm going to take this back, by the way. Don't want to lose it. And so yeah, so we're uh, the only thing I changed was the days are much longer. And that's beneficial, and other times it's not so beneficial. So, problem is you can it's you run out of food. I think the longer the days are, I mean you have more time to find food, but you can also run out of food. So, yeah, that can happen. All right, so we got some wood. I think we can craft, gather some small stone. Okay, so we need to do that. I'm gonna get jumped out here. I know. I always get jumped, too, right in the beginning. But so far, I'm okay. Knock on wood. So we're looking for some stones. I probably passed one. You guys are going to say, hey, there was one right in front of you. I don't see any. There we go. What do we got? Trash down here. We'll take a look through here. Oh, see? Here we go. Yep. I'm not going to even bother. Well, let's fight him. First battle. Now this isn't recommended if you play if you're learning how to play this game. This is definitely not a good idea, but I want the experience. For some reason he hasn't caught on fire yet. There we go. I like it. And actually, you know what? While we're doing that, let's check. I always forget to do this. No, we don't have any points yet anyways. All right, so forget it. I'm going to go into looting first, though. I like to boost up that looting. Now, it depends what you're going for. I think some people, you know, if you're doing, if you're a farmer. I'm not a farmer, though. I will warn you. I'm not a big farmer. Some people like to farm. Not me. So, I do it later on. You kind of need some food when you need food. But I'm going to actually try to get these snowberries in the beginning. I'll just get as many of these as I can. Really? There's another one? Come on. You know, I shouldn't take this guy. I think this guy's a little bit more difficult. Didn't it sound like he just burped? A violent and gory death. Okay, so what are we looking for? Oh, yeah, stones. Need two of them. All right, let's head down here. This might be easier to see them. You know, I don't remember this many zombies in the beginning. It's like they're all over the place. Okay. I mean, I know this is a zombie world and all, but I don't remember this many at the beginning. And they could cut me a little slack here. I mean, I just need some stone here. Come on, one stone. See, this is always the case. Whenever I need stone, there's none of them around. And then when you don't need it, 
I am not going into the wasteland. That's not going to be happening. Let's go up here. I mean, there's got to be some stone here. Come on. One lousy, stinking stone, please. No. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is like the way the game is for me. It's like it'll be all around when you don't need them. I'm tempted just to start pounding on one of those stones, but it'll take so long. So I'm kind of taking the lazy, lazy way here. Meanwhile, if there's any of that snowberry, I'll pick off that stuff. I do have to remind myself, you know what? It looks a little easier over there. Let's go down there. And I will say this, that snowberry stuff really can come in useful, especially when you're... There we go. Finally. That took forever. There we go. Snowberry. And there's another one. See? All right. We got plenty of them now. All right. So now we can actually craft... A stone axe. Okay. How much EXP to the next level? 8,000. Okay. You know, I see, I see a place over there already. That must be where we're going, probably. I would assume. I'm going to get some wood here in the beginning. Chop this nonsense down. I like to get some wood right in the beginning. Get a nice supply going. And then just see if there's anything coming up on me. This is kind of my strategy. You just kind of circle around to make sure there's nothing approaching. I can't tell you how many times I've got jumped while, while I'm cutting down a tree. We're getting some nice EXP, too, doing this. All right, there we go. Let's see where we're at. 150 stone, good. All right, we're doing good here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and make these two items. And then I think they're going to want us to put them on. Let's look up here. Player. Let's go ahead and drop these on. I, I don't think I chose... I chose a guy with a mohawk, apparently. I didn't even realize that. Okay. I don't have a mohawk in real life, though, just to let you know. Okay, fine. Okay, so now we need to craft a wooden club. Yeah, that'll come in useful for a little bit. I need to actually get... Pick up some more of these stones, too. And I'll put these right here. There's a couple things I always carry on me. Wood, stones, and generally lead. I'm sorry, iron. There's a few things I always carry as necessities. And wood and stones are definitely one of them. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and craft a wooden club. That'll be easy enough. Alright, there we go. Now we can fight those zombies a little bit easier. Okay. So now, let's see, what do we got left? We got to gather some feathers. Okay. Feathers are very, very useful in this game. Those are one of the nice luxuries. I think we're going over there, by the way. That looks like a settlement that's probably... There's another guy there. Let's go take this guy out. I want to get some EXP here. Yeah, much easier now. Strike one. Okay, this isn't really a good idea because the last thing I want to do is get infected because I don't have anything to cure. Oh, look at that. Okay, bird's nest. Oh, yes. Two eggs and a feather. And now we can go ahead and craft these things up. Bow and a stone arrow. Bows are very useful in this game because... Though I like to store these up initially and not use them for a little bit, but they're nice because obviously you want to try to use ranged as much as possible. 
so that you don't get infected. Okay, so now I'm absolutely sure we're going over here. Let's head over here. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I mean, it looks like a city, maybe? Sure does. Oh, here we go. Okay. Come on, get up. Here's your beating. There we go. Almost about the level. Yeah, this is definitely probably where we're going here. That looks interesting. Don't know what that is. Looks like a Medicare facility or something. Medical facility? Did I say Medicare facility? Okay, so... Oh my gosh, that looks like... Is that the trading outpost? Sure is. Look at that. Okay, I'm not going to go in there yet. I want to get the quest so I get the money. I'm sorry, the experience? Okay, so we got to craft a wood block. Okay, very simple. There we go. And then we need to place it and upgrade it. Okay. Now let's rotate it. Put it here. Oh, not going to let me put it there. Okay, fine. And then we upgrade it. I think that's it. Once we get it upgraded. Oh, gather more stones. Okay. Okay, fine. Let's go back. I'm not going to take that guy on right now. Let's go over here. See if we can find some stones. Oh, cool. I can't pass up on these bird nests. Cannot pass up on these things. Okay, so we need some stones. Two. See, they're all over the place now. Three, just need to be in the right area. Oh, come on. There we go. One away. Five. Okay. So, you know what? I found a place over here. You know what? We'll worry about that. I think... I think I like this place for our cabin right here. This might actually be good because it's on this little ridge. And we'll do this in the next video. But I think I'm going to put it right here. I'll build the blocks right against this ridge. And that way, this at least one side of the base will be protected from zombies at night. It's kind of the way... I mean, this is just going to be the first base we're going to build. I'm not... I got to get one built eventually. So let's cut this tree down, though. It's kind of in the way. For some reason, I love cutting trees down in this game, and I have no idea why. It's like a guilty pleasure, and I know that's a weird guilty pleasure to have. All right, so let's go ahead and make the campfire. Let's get that done out of the way. There we go, and I think we got, yeah, we got to place it down now. Fine. We got to use it. No, you know what? We're not going to even, we're just going to get rid of this because I'm going to make a new one anyway, so... rather get the stone back okay so good all right so now yep it's right over there look at that it's rare I actually find the trading post before the quest is complete I better pick up all these stones because we're gonna need them and where is he there he is okay let's take this guy out Well, 
I just love when their head gets explodes like that. Okay. So here we are. And we're at the trading outpost. All right, so let's go in here. Uh, how about I empty your pockets? Wow, this guy doesn't seem too nice, does he? You get grumpy ones like this. Okay. So do I want to sell anything? Empty water jar. We're going to keep all this stuff. Let's see what he has to sell here, though. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I definitely need the jar of honey because that cures disease. I'm glad he's selling that. That is really good news. In fact, I want to get that right now. What can I sell? The brass? Yeah, we don't need that. Let's see if I can buy this. I really want that badly. Don't let the door hit you on your way out. Well, he'll have that for... When does he... It'll tell you, actually, when his inventory refreshes. Day four. Okay, we got plenty of time. I'll come back and get that later. Okay, so this is a good start. We made... We made it here. We're safe. And so far, I haven't died. That's the thing I'm going to try to do here. So I'm going to try to get to day number seven and pass the blood moon without dying so we'll see and i just to warn you like i said we're probably gonna go through a lot of these houses in fact i might here i am okay i'm sitting here looking at the houses while a zombie's attacking me that that is never a good idea, just to let you know. That will expire, that bleed out. Okay, 29 minutes on the... All right, let's go take a look. Yeah, I'm going to start out with the looting. Because I told you guys, I am a big-time looter. Okay, I'm probably going to really put a lot of early points into this. It depends what you're going for. Some people like to go for the farming and other things. Okay, so I think that's a good start. And I will see you guys in the next video. And we'll start to work on the base because the time's already 10 a.m. And that creeps up, actually. It'll creep up. And I don't like to actually stay in houses for my base. I actually like to build the first one. So it just seems like when I get in one of these houses at night, there's way more zombies coming at me. It's easier just to make your own little base and... Keep quiet. Very quiet. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.